Radio Pubco Studios. You're watching the Super Bowl preview driven by Bob Moore Audi. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Barry Trammell. Barry, we've got a lot to talk about with this Super Bowl. Tons of storylines. We have to start with the brothers. John Harbaugh, the Ravens coach. Jim Harbaugh, the Niners coach. Obviously, talk about the Harbaugh Bowl, the Har Brawl. I mean, this, this thing has really taken on a life of its own. How alike and, and similar are these guys? Are they, I mean, are we going to basically see mirror images of the two on the sidelines? Well, they're a little different, it looks like. I've been around Jim, uh, the, the, the 2009 Sun Bowl. He coached Stanford in it. Uh, I've only seen John from afar, of course, on the broadcast. But uh, it's pretty clear that Jim is more intense. Uh, John's a little bit more laid back. Uh, John's a, a, the older brother. Um, but uh, that, that's the only real difference I see. It looks to me like these guys are very similar. Uh, you gotta, you, you know, you gotta salute the jobs they've done this year. Both did unthinkable things with good teams. One changed his quarterback at Thanksgiving. The other fired his offensive coordinator in December. Who does that? But to me, uh, it shows the confidence uh, of the Harbaugh brothers, which makes me think this Super Bowl is more about Jack Harbaugh, their father. What a proud moment he's got to be. He's produced these two great sons who are coaches and uh, men that can stand on their own two feet, don't do things by convention. To me, Jack Harbaugh is the star of the Super Bowl. Yeah, definitely so. But, you know, I wonder if either of these guys has an advantage. Does Jim or, or John have a coaching advantage in this game? And I think John might have a slight advantage, but that's just because he's been in the, in the league a little bit longer and has been through more playoff games than his brother. But there's no doubt what Jim has done in San Francisco has been remarkable. He's taken a, a team that was really um, at, you know, towards the bottom and now has him in the Super Bowl, had him in the conference championship game a year ago. So did some fantastic things in year one, now in year two, uh, has him in the Super Bowl. John may have a slight advantage, but obviously two very talented head coaches are definitely going to have their teams ready to go. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see in getting those teams ready offensively how these teams match up. Quarterbacks are a big storyline in this one, Barry. When you talk about the quarterback change in San Francisco, going with Colin Kaepernick, Joe Flacco in Baltimore, who has the advantage quarterback-wise? Well, I mean, I think it's Baltimore because of the experience factor. I mean, Joe Flacco's won a playoff game Five straight years, his first five years in the league. He's won uh, four of those uh, years. He's won playoff games on the road. He's been through the fire. He had the Ravens within a whisker of the Super Bowl a year ago. Lee Evans drops a touchdown pass in the last minute, or the, or the Baltimores would be in their second straight Super Bowl. Colin Kaepernick is from another world, run pass guy. You can't catch him, can't, you, you know, can't defend his passes. Uh, just a new age quarterback. But I think, uh, I think uh, to go with the guy that's been there, the guy that's the steady hand, the guy that's produced under the intense pressure, give a slight edge to Baltimore. I I'm going with Kaepernick on the advantage factor. I just think he does some things that are so different from what um, anybody else can do. I mean, maybe save a guy like a, 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 you know, a Russell Wilson who can throw it and, and pass it or throw it and run it, which Kaepernick does. I mean, we've talked about the evolution of quarterbacks in the NFL and going to more of the spread offense and those sorts of things. But uh, we've not really seen many guys like Kaepernick who can throw it well but run so effectively. I just think that, that uh, he doesn't have the experience factor. He hasn't even started a full season in the NFL, so you've got to give Flacco a, a slight nod in experience. But I think with what, uh, with what uh, Kaepernick can do, I think he's the guy who, ha who makes the difference in this game. I think that's why the Niners win. Barry, let's look on the defensive side of the ball, and obviously the story is Ray Lewis. I mean, <laughs> this guy's everywhere. He's falling on his knees. He's crying. He's praising God. He's doing all this crazy stuff. How much of an impact, though, will he have in this game? Well, I think what's crazy about the Ray Lewis story is I think it's going to be minimal impact. I mean, for the guy that's the story of the Super Bowl with his, with his swan song, the end of a 17-year career, the guy that's the firestorm this week because of the deer antler spray. Uh, but uh, Ray Lewis is not the kind of defender that can, uh, that can really sort of counter Colin Kaepernick. you got to be able to run uh, with Colin Kaepernick. Remember the... the uh, the preeminent uh, symbol, the, the, the scene, the memory from these playoffs is that 50-yard uh, that run by Kaepernick against Green Bay where he just uh, you know, runs the fake, the zone read, takes off and runs away from the Green Bay secondary. That was the uh-oh moment in these NFL playoffs where everybody says, what are we going to do? Well, you're not going to have a 260-pound linebacker 
uh, to counter that. So I think Ray Lewis will play a good game. He'll play solid. He's not going to have a big impact, though. Just a bad fit for Ray Lewis. Yeah, this is a game where I think he is negated quite a bit. But, you know, you can't argue that this guy has had one of the greatest careers uh, of any linebacker in NFL history. He's going to be uh, a first ballot Hall of Famer, uh, is a guy that is definitely – uh, elevated that position, uh, you know, and playing 17 years, Barry. I mean, that to me is the thing that when you start to look at not only the longevity, but the quality of play. I mean, it's at a 17 year veteran to still be able to do what he does. Pretty unbelievable. Hey, before we get out of here, we got some fun questions, some Vegas lines that are out there that maybe a little bit different. So let's take a stab at some of these, Barry. Okay. Over under is six seconds on the length of post-game handshake or hug between the Harbaugh brothers, taking the over or the under? I think I'll take the over. Okay. I, mean, I, I mean, I know people say, ah, oh, these guys are all competitors, but I think when the game's over, the final gun goes, I think they're going to get to midfield. I think they're going to have an emotional moment. I think it'll be something to see. Yeah, I'm going over on this one as well. Six seconds seems a little bit short for two brothers that have just played a Super Bowl against each other. I'll go over on that one as well. All right, what about this one? Over under is two and a half. Times that Jack Harbaugh will be shown during the game. You taking the over or the under? Now, this is during the game. During We're the not game. talking pregame, postgame. Game. Okay. Okay, here's what here you go. If they can find him, I'm caveat. Make sure the make sure the cameras can find him. I assume they will. Mm -hmm. If they can find him, bet your mortgage <laughs> two point five. It's gonna be twenty two point five. You'll see him if it's a close game in the fourth quarter, you'll see him every other play. They might show him two hundred times. Bet the house. You remember how much they used to saw, show Blake Griffin's parents when he was yeah. at OU? Or, or Kurt Warner's wife. Remember, she was on the she was on uh, more than uh, than the Ram coaches. The only way he's not shown more than two and a half times during the game is if he hides out under the stadium. And even then, they might send a camera to go find him. So over, over, over. What about this one, Barry? Over, under on this one is three. How many times Ray Lewis will mention God or Lord in his postgame interview? I'm going to say under. I think Ray Lewis has sort of heard it's a the, shocker. It's a shocker, i got to tell you. I think, I think he sort of senses the uh, skepticism, uh, the, uh, the uh, sort of tiredness uh, of uh, his act with some people. I think people have said, hey, tone it down a little bit, Ray. I'm going to say one or two times he praises the Lord. Uh, that's it. I'll go over. I think he. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna say it a lot, and I think he's gonna definitely go over three times in that postgame interview. All right. Lastly, what about the color of Gatorade? This is important stuff that gets dumped on the winning coach. If you bet hundred dollars, you could win like two hundred. If you if you pick yellow, three fifty for orange, red six fifty. What color Gatorade is it going to be? Well, if the 49ers win, I think uh, it will be uh, orange. I mean, I think uh, they got that goldish uh, orange uh, color scheme. I think uh, you know your NFL teams are very detail oriented. I think they like their Gatorade to match their color scheme. If the Ravens win it, I think you're going to, of course, they're purple and black. I think you'll more likely see some purple, blue type. Uh, I pick the Ravens, so I'll go with uh, I'll go with the blue Gatorade. I'm picking the Niners to win this one, so I got to go with red. I think I think the red Gatorade, red orange. I don't know what the official color is Gatorade. You'd have to back me up on this, but. I think that's it. And on our picks, you're going Ravens, I'm going Niners. I'm picking Ravens. I don't have a serious, uh, I don't have a serious conviction. Uh, nothing would surprise me. I'll take the Baltimore's. Yeah, I'm going with the, the Niners, largely because of Colin Kaepernick, as we talked earlier. But I think this we can bet on. I think it's going to be a pretty good game. And I'm pulling for Baltimore because our sports editor is from Baltimore, and he'll be in a good mood for about <laughs> the next six years if the Ravens <laughs> win this game. Hey, be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoma. Thanks for coming and watching our Super Bowl preview driven by Bob Moore. Howdy.